friends. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about our country's history. And in doing so, we're going to take a look at some of our country's national landmarks. Now who knows what national landmarks mean? National landmarks are something in our country that play an important part in the country's history. They're symbols of our country that when people see them, they recognize them as the United States. So they're important historically in our country and they're important right now because they're symbols of our country and who we are. So we're gonna take a look at three different national landmarks today. We're going to take a look at the Statue of Liberty, the White House, and Mount Rushmore. So the first national landmark that we're gonna look at is the White House. So let's click on it and we will go to there. So the White House is located in Washington, D.C. And who knows what's so important about Washington, D.C.? Washington, D.C. is our country's capital. So that is pretty cool. And the White House is extra important because who knows who lives in the White House? The president lives in the White House. That's right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what it's like outside of the White House in Washington, D.C. We're going to look at the White House from the outside. So here we are. This is nighttime right outside the White House. There it is. See the flag on top of the White House? All right, and let's, if we keep going, we'll see what else we can see here. Let's see. It looks like it's winter time. Huh? It looks pretty cold. And look at all these people that are outside the White House. It is a very popular place for people to go visit. And look at it's Christmas time. So this right there, this is our national Christmas tree. And that's pretty cool. It's very bright. Let's look at all these people. Oh, and to back of the White House, there's the Washington Monument. That is another historical landmark that we'll talk about another time. It's pretty cool. All right. So now that we've had a chance to see a little bit outside of the White House, let's take a look at what it's like inside the White House. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get our little guy here and enter our street view. And this guy's cool because he can go inside the White House. So while we're looking inside the White House, I want us to be thinking about what stands out to you about the inside of the White House. What do you think? So here we are. We are in Inside the front hallway of the White House. All right, I'm gonna walk in here to this room. Take a look. Notice the different colors, the furniture. Notice different things. Look at that table, huh? Here's another room. It looks like a red room. Notice the paintings. So, as we walk through the White House, what stands out to you in here? I think what stands out to me the most is how fancy the White House is. There is a lot of fancy furniture in the White House, fancy paintings on the wall. It doesn't really look like a house that people would live in, like where we live, huh? I don't see a kitchen or a TV or toys anywhere. Just see a lot of fancy decorations. It kind of looks like somewhere a king or queen would live. So how does the White House compare to the house that you guys live in? Well, I'm going to tell you some fun facts about the White House that will help you better be able to think about this question. So the White House has 132 rooms in it. It has 35 bathrooms and it has six different floors. And the White House, it has a lot of cool things. It has a movie theater in it. It has a bowling alley. It has an indoor swimming pool. And it has a track all inside of this house. Probably on the different floors though, huh? We're just on the first floor, which seems to be pretty fancy. And I don't see any of those things. So how is the White House different from your house? Well, my house doesn't have 132 rooms. It probably has about 10. And we only have two bathrooms in my house, not 35. And there's only two floors to my house. And I also don't have a movie theater or a bathroom. But 
it's pretty cool because this house is pretty old and lots of presidents have lived here. So it's pretty special. So let's think about something real quick. Let's think about what our lives would be like if we lived inside the White House. It would be pretty cool, huh? So to think a little bit more about this, we're going to check something out here. So, we all know that the president lives in the White House, but I think sometimes we forget that the president's family also lives in the White House. So you know what that means? The president's children, they live in the White House with him. So we're gonna take a look at some different kids who lived in the White House. The first kid that we're gonna look at is right here, his picture's right here. This is Tad Lincoln. Now Tad was seven years old when he lived in the White House. And he lived in the White House during the Civil War, which was during the 1800s. Because there was a war going on, Tad really liked to play war games. And he liked to wear an army uniform. And this is a picture of him in his army uniform. The next kid that we're going to talk about who lived in the White House was Quentin Roosevelt. And he lived in the White House from 1901 to 1909. And Quentin had a really big family. He had two sisters and three brothers. And him and his brothers and sisters, they loved pets. They had cats and dogs and snakes and raccoons all living in the White House with them. But Quentin's favorite pet was a pony. And here Quentin is on his pony outside the White House. That's pretty cool, huh? All right, the next kid that we're going to look at, two kids. This is Caroline and John Kennedy. There they are playing. And there's their dad, who was the president, John F. Kennedy. So Caroline was four when she moved into the White House. And John was just a little baby. But they lived in the White House in the 60s. So around the time that parents were born. So Caroline, she went to school in the White House. She had 10 friends who came to the White House and they went to school with her on the third floor of the White House. Isn't that cool? Wouldn't that be cool if you and your friends had school at home every day and a teacher came and taught you, if I came and taught you there? So Caroline had a pretty special experience in the White House. And John, John loved to play in the Oval Office where his dad worked because the desk that his dad worked at had a secret door that John liked to hide behind. And there John is right there, hiding in the desk in the Oval Office with his dad. And there's Caroline at the school. And there they are in their Halloween costumes in the White House. So, now that we've looked at a couple different examples of kids living in the White House, let's go back here to our picture of the White House. What do you think your life would be like if you lived in the White House? What would be different? I think you'd get to do a lot of different things in, that you wouldn't get to do now. We would have a bowling alley in our house, a movie theater in our house, and that'd be kind of cool. But I also think it'd be kind of hard to live in the White House because you wouldn't get to have as many friends over because you lived in the White House. You wouldn't get to... You probably would have to... You probably couldn't make any messes in your house because it's very clean in the White House. So I think there'd be good differences about living in the White House, and there'd also be some dead, bad differences. But what's important to remember is that the White House is a symbol for all people in our, who don't live in our country, and people who do live in our country, of our government, and of our president, and of the United States of America. And it's pretty cool that it's such a symbol, and it will always be a symbol. Our president will always be living there. And that's pretty cool. All right, so next we're going to move on to look at Mount Rushmore.